Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anikhet and I'm back with another fresh informative video. In my previous videos of this IELTS series, I have shared you the exact tips and tricks to boost your IELTS band score. All right, but what you don't know is if you're stressed or underconfident or anxious in the exam environment at the day of your exam or the night before your exam, none of those strategies will actually work because yes, because your brain will be busy dealing with the stress for you and not really applying the strategies for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you the exact hacks that has made wonders for me during the night before my exam and also on the day of my exam. There are certain things which you need to prepare for beforehand to be calm and confident in the examination hall. And guess what? A peaceful brain will make sure it applies all the strategies and knowledge it has for the IELTS examination that you have prepared, that you have known, that you have taught yourself for the IELTS examination. This is why this video is important for you because no matter what, what you have learned previously from my videos or other YouTubers videos, none of those strategies will work if you are stressed, underconfident and anxious. Alright, so video should be done before the video. If you are not new to the channel, then subscribe to the channel and like the because a lot of useful information is coming on your way and without any further bullshit, let's jump into the video. The first step is eat and sleep well. IELTS is a long test. It takes 2 hours and 40 minutes to complete the listening, reading and writing section and there are no breaks in between. That is 2 hours and 40 minutes. Almost 3 hours you have to sit constant in the examination hall. And you have to make sure your focus and concentration are on point because if it's not there, your test will be bad. Your test will be poor. So, you have to make sure you eat well. To maintain your proper focus and concentration, your diet should be on point the night before your exam. I'll recommend have a light homemade dinner. Do not go for junk foods or fast foods. Bahar ka khana mat khana. Also, a proper sleep is necessary. I, I won't say it should be of 8 hours. Whatever time span it is, 4 hours, 5 hours, person to person it varies. It should be a sound deep sleep. That's all I say you. That's all I recommend you. It should be a sound sleep and a sound sleep will make sure your focus is on point. You don't feel dizzy the next day in the examination hall. Okay? Also, do not keep studying or revising enough is enough. You have studied enough, you have prepared enough. Now it's the time to have faith in your preparation because listen, it's an English language test. IELTS is an English language test and you will become Shakespeare in one night. Now the only thing you can do is have faith in your preparation, believe in yourself and prepare for the exam environment. Go to the exam hall and directly give the test. That's it. My second pointer is clothing. What you should actually wear on the day of your test. Do not go for any super formal outfit, wear casuals. You are not marked based on your appearance. This should be noted. You are not marked based on your appearance for any part of your test. Speaking, reading, listening, writing. None of the test is based on your clothing, your outfit, your attire. So wear something which is super comfortable and gives you confidence as well. I made a mistake that I wore just casual t-shirt and a jeans because I thought I have to sit for three hours, straight three hours in the examination hall it must be hot inside the room so i wore that and unfortunately unluckily it was too cold the ac was on throughout the three hours for the entire span of my test and i was shivering so i'll recommend you do not wear too light clothes wear casuals but not too light if you're wearing light clothes then make sure you carry an extra layer of clothing just to keep you warm in case you feel cold like me my third pointer is drinks. You can carry any drink at the examination hall if it's in a transparent bottle. I didn't know this and I suffered. So I'll recommend you to take an energy drink because trust me, sitting for 3 hours constant and maintaining your focus is a tough job. Gala sook jata hai, focus maintain nahi kar paate hai log. Isilea an energy drink, if you carry it, it will help you throughout your test. Carry an energy drink but make sure it's in a transparent bottle. My next step is arrive early. I know it's a traditional rule, but for IELTS examination, it becomes of more importance. Make sure you know where your test center exactly is, how you're gonna reach there, what's the mode of transportation and arrange it beforehand. And make sure you know how long exactly it takes for you to reach the test center from your home. Okay? And this is to be noted that late candidates aren't allowed to enter in the examination room. They are very strict about timings. It's an international test, school ka test nahi hai. So make sure you can't you can't really afford to be late. All right. Also, before the test actually starts, you need to verify and check in with few documents, and it takes 20 to 25 minutes at least. So make sure you reach the destination with at least one hour in hand, so that you have plenty of time for the check-in process and complete it successfully. My next tip is about toilet. IELTS listening, reading, writing takes 2 hours and 40 minutes to complete without any breaks in between. So make sure you use the washroom or toilet before you enter the test room. They allow you to do so, use that particular facility. But I was still in the test. So 
anyway if you want to go use the washroom during your test just make sure you raise up your hand like this the invigilator will come to you ask you your question or query and then she'll allow you to use the washroom but make sure you do not use the washroom during your test else timing is precious make sure you utilize the time to just solve your question paper and do nothing else so lagao tala susu pe and focus karo test pe that's it no clocks or smart watches that's my next tip that's my tip to make you aware no phones or smart watches or any electronic devices are allowed in the examination room maine sab kuch papa ko de diya tha he was waiting with all my stuffs in a car till my exam was over so make sure you have one person to give all your belongings to which uh, he'll carry for you till your exam was over you cannot carry anything inside the examination hall they are very strict about it also there will be a big clock in your test center in the examination hall you can't carry a watch like this or smart watch in your test center so make sure Sure, you locate the clock. Clock, clock. क्लॉक प्रॉपरली बिकॉज यू नीड टू कीप ट्रैकिंग योर टाइम वेल यू गिव योर रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग टेस्ट सो मेक श्योर यू नो वेद क्लॉक इज बिफोर योर टेस्ट एक्चुअली स्टार्ट माई नेक्स्ट टिप इज टेक पेंसिल इरेजर शार्पनर पेन टेक एक्स्ट्राज एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन कैरी नी डिक्शनरी और एनी फॉर्म ऑफ चीज इन द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल बिकॉज इफ यूर कॉट इल बी डायरेक्टली टर्मिनेटेड फ्रॉम गिविंग द एग्जाम ऑल्सो इल बी सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम गिविंग द एग्जाम फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू और थ्री ईयर्स मेक श्योर यू नो दिस बिफोर यू कैरी एनी फॉर्म ऑफ चीज इन द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल स्कूल का एग्जाम नहीं है अब्रॉड आने का एग्जाम है it has to be strict all right now this step is very important it's about disability if you're having any kind of minor or major disability it doesn't really matter and you think that it can affect your test listening reading writing speaking whatever it is you need to contact the test center as early as possible and make sure you know the changes and the policies for a disabled person it's very important else if they see a disabled person with general people there will be some issue in the examination hall so make sure you avoid it by contacting the test center beforehand last but not least but definitely the most important tip of all it's mindset know that your preparation is rock solid you don't need to worry about your preparation you have studied enough and just now you need to have faith in yourself your preparation also you should be knowing the exact strategies for each type of question exam mein baith ke sochna mat ki kahan pe kya use karna hai you should know that beforehand you should prepare those things very well so that ki question dekh ke aapko pata chal jaye what are the strategies for this type of question also you need to keep this in mind it's very important you should know that it's a one shot game you just get one shot at the ielts examination दोबारा नहीं देना है 14,000 दोबारा पे नहीं करना है एल्स एग्जामिनेशन टेस्ट सेंटर को दोबारा विजिट नहीं करना है एक बार मिलेगा एक चांस मिलेगा और एक बार में खेल खत्म ठीक है दोबारा कुछ नहीं देना इट्स अ वन शॉट गेम एंड यू हैव टू नेल इट इन द फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट डजेंट मैटर यू आर टेकिंग कोचिंग क्लासेस और स्टडिंग एट होम एवरीथिंग इज पॉसिबल क्लियर इट इन अ फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट एंड प्रूव एवरी अदर स्टूडेंट एवरी एस्पायरिंग आइल्स कैंडिडेट ऑल राइट एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली बी काम एंड ब्रीद मेक श्योर यूर कॉन्फिडेंट थ्रू आउट द टेस्ट एज आई सेड दिस स्ट्रैटेजीज दिस टिप्स विल हेल्प यू टू बूस्ट योर कॉन्फिडेंस मेक श्योर यूर कॉन्फिडेंट थ्रू आउट योर टेस्ट बिकॉज इफ यू आर अंडर कॉन्फिडेंस स्ट्रेस और एंशियस सींग द एग्जाम एनवायरमेंट नन ऑफ द स्ट्रैटेजीज विल वर्क नाउ आई बी शेयरिंग विद द थ्री थिंग्स यू शुड नेवर do in a dials examination let's begin number 1 do not cheat it's an international test and if you're caught cheating they'll restrict and suspend you from giving ielts examination for the next 2 years so just focus on your test do not even look at others papers number 2 do not take the question paper home you aren't allowed to take any part of the question paper home and that's a punishable act in the ielts test center under the ielts rules and guidelines okay so do not take any form of paper paper material from the test center to your home Point number three is don't continue, and this is very important. Do not continue writing even after the invigilator uh, tells you to stop. If you continue writing one word or even a sentence, your whole test can be terminated and disqualified. Invalidate हो जाएगा पूरा test आपका if you still forcefully continue to write. All right. So these were my tips and tricks that you need to take care of beforehand, the night before your exam, and also on the day of your exam. And this will make sure you are super calm and confident throughout your test because now exactly. You are perfectly prepared for the IELTS test. There is nothing else left. अगर आपको ये इन टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स के बारे में पता है then you are really a perfect candidate for the IELTS test. Just have, just have faith in yourself and give the test. It will be all perfect. And अगर वीडियो इन्फॉर्मेटिव लगे वीडियो पसंद आए तो वीडियो को लाइक कर दो एंड चैनल पर नहीं तो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दो बिकॉज जल्दी टेन के होने वाले फिर गिव अवे आएगा चैनल पर एंड द आयल्स सीरीज इज गोइंग ऑन सो मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब एंड हेट द बेल आइकन एंड टेक द होल ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज टिल देन Stay awesome, stay sexy. मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में इंसानी के शाह साइनिंग ऑफ होते हैं बाय